the Nero is really the model that kick-started Kia's emergence as a brand for people wanting an electrified vehicle. And it's sold pretty well, more than 300,000 in fact, since the original hybrid turned up in 2016. It is more than five years old though, and that's positively ancient by Korean car company terms. So right on cue, here's an all new generation, which will start arriving on UK driveways in late summer. And when we say all new, we mean all new. The previous Nero was almost a triumph over adversity because it was based on a fairly old Hyundai Kia architecture that it shared with the original Ionic. If you're being charitable, you'd have said it was well proven. In truth, it was probably a little bit long in the tooth. This new Nero, however, which will continue to be offered as a hybrid, a plug-in hybrid, and a battery electric vehicle, is the first Kia to use the third generation of the company's mid-sized K platform. This car we've got today is actually the new e-Nero and you can immediately see how Kia's designers have given it a very dramatic overhaul compared with the old model. Some very neat styling around the front end, there's a nice texture on this flush plastic finish here. A lovely nod to the original Tiger grille with these notches at the top of the bonnet and in the windscreen. You get a central charging point in there and because this is the EV it also gets 20 litres of storage under the bonnet. Very handy if you've got wet cables and you don't want to stick them in the boot. There are some big changes along the side too. This electric version gets this steel grey finish along the bottom of the door. But of course the big standout feature is this dramatic blade that covers the C-pillar. It's actually quite a trick bit of technology because it stands proud of the main bodywork. And these little fins help to channel air through it and out the back, cleaning up the flow and improving efficiency. Expect Kia to offer this in a range of paint colours and finishes to boost personalisation. The three versions of the car all get updated powertrains. The hybrid and plug-in hybrid continue to use Kia's 1.6-litre GDI petrol engine along with a six-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. The hybrid has a 1.32 kilowatt-hour battery and a total output of 139 brake horsepower, while the beefier PHEV gets a boost in battery size from 8.9 kilowatt-hours up to 11.1 kilowatt-hours and a combined power figure of 180 brake horsepower. The electric model, now called Nero EV instead of e Nero, has 201 brake horsepower and a 64.8 kWh battery. Kia is still fine-tuning the efficiency figures but it expects the PHEV to manage up to 65 km or 40 miles on electric power alone, and the EV to be capable of up to 288 miles between charges. The two hybrids both manage 0 to 62 miles per hour in around 10 seconds. As you'd expect, the Nero EV's instant electric punch delivers a quicker time of just under 8 seconds. Inside this is a late pre-production model so some of the materials aren't quite finalised but you do get an idea of the effects of the Nero's growth spurt. It's 65 centimetres longer overall and the wheelbase, the gap between the front and the rear axles, grows by a couple of centimetres. There's room in here now for four six footers. Up front the view is dominated by this twin display with 10 and a quarter inch screens and the ambient lighting which is designed to extend its effect right across in front of the passenger. The interface, that'll seem pretty familiar to you if you've driven a Sorento or the latest Sportage, although of course on this car the screens are slightly smaller. The Nero does get the multifunction panel from those larger SUVs though, allowing you to flick between climate and heating controls and the infotainment. The Nero EV is also able to offer vehicle to load charging, allowing you to plug in everything from a laptop to a mobile fridge if you need to. It's likely to be standard on higher end trim levels and optional elsewhere. The boot is a decent shape and it features a variable height floor, although the overall capacities vary considerably depending on your choice of powertrain. The most spacious of the trio is the BEV, with 475 litres not including the frunk. The hybrid offers 451 litres, while the PHEV is more than 100 litres down on that at 348 litres. This Nero looks set to deliver more EV tricks than the model it replaces. Kia is promising more integration with its phone app for remote control of key functions. And the navigation system will recognise when you've targeted a charging station and precondition the battery to its ideal temperature to maximise the recharge speeds. The hybrid models will also recognise zero emissions zones and try to maximise electric running within them. And on the PHEV, you can define and save your own electric-only areas, so you can make sure you do the school drop-off in silence. Kia is still finalising specs for the new Nero, but we already know that it'll be offered in three trim levels across all of the powertrains. There's no word yet on pricing either, but given the bigger battery, the boost in size and the improved specifications, we'd expect a modest increase over the outgoing model, making the hybrid cost around £26,500.